Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 13. Alright, uh, the previous episode. We met, not met, but we have found where Hermit is and our uh, sister kind of pointed it out and like like i was really not expecting them to find hermit so quickly so it's kind of like you know like going a, quite fast and i'm quite happy about that because after we find all the uh, all the shining stars we can go to the like you know start the original journey of uh, going to mother like i was expecting like you know this whole season to take uh like finding one or two of the shining stars and probably that it will kind of be dragged to the next season or something i thought it would be something like that but they like you know they, they kind of found uh sister out it took one or two episodes for them to find sister out and like two more episodes to actually recruit her and then in the next episode we suddenly found hermit so now the question is like will we be able to convince her to join or will there be some kind of a problem like uh just like we had with sister so let's see and uh, like we already have three of the shining stars and we have a little bit of information about um i think her name was valkyrie wasn't it yeah yeah the first shining star is that she she was homura's master yeah and like that's the like the quite a clue and like we we know that uh she has I think she disappeared or something she went missing so homura also wants to find out her master at the same time so after getting hermit i'm sure we'll go like you know start uh, try to find uh, valkyrie we'll start on our journey to find valkyrie and then we'll have all the four shining stars so let's see let's see what uh how, like what this episode is about how is hermit as a character you know like she seemed pretty sad like kind of sitting on top of that statue so yeah, let's see what the problem is. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 13 of Eden Zero. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, is this Jame again? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we have Harmit now. Safely. Oh, okay. Um, what? What? What does that mean? This is sadistic? What? Oh, is this a new opening? Oh! Okay! Whoa, what is that dress? Okay. Wait, 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 what the hell? Was that Pinos? Whoa! <laughs> Damn, which is dress? Okay. What the? Oh, that's Valkyrie. Oh, are they going to fight or something? Oh. I can see that happening, you know, Homura versus Valkyrie. Whoa. <laughs> 
Oh, there was a there were a lot of things in this opening. Like for for example, the whole thing with Pino, like her seeing a reflection. Okay, anyways, let's see. <laughs> oh, okay, that's why she's sitting here. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, what happened? Is there AI? Not AI, but is something busted? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's normal sleep mode. Heart spinner. Some kind of mental, yeah. What? What? Um. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't no no no. I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's definitely not it. Maybe you can connect the brain or, or something. I don't know. Go into her consciousness. Oh, there you go. Digital. Dive mode. Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Virtual place and the real planet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Physical body has no influence. Yeah. You also have to dive, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah, this is the thing with AI. It's like, like when they become self-aware. Damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> what is <this>? like this? <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I was really not expecting something like this. Whoa, he said something different instead of Moscow. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Okay, let's see what everyone will choose. No, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, Ichiya. <laughs> Another cameo. Okay. Their avatars are pretty similar to their actual appearance. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god. Oh! Is this Shiki? No, who is this? No, no, I don't think this is Shiki. This is Homura. It's Homura, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what is this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, as expected of vice. As expected of vice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what she could chose. Oh, is this the reason why? Okay, that's why in the opening. Okay, okay. Oh my god, let's see what. <laughs> okay, this is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Heads on dip, uh, display, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. You can do that? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> True. Oh my god. Tantimo, okay. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one thing that they mentioned. Oh, really? So, so they can differentiate between them. 
Oh my god, they're that much self-aware. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like play can also try and act like as an NPC. And we don't even know how Hermit looks like in here, or if her name is Hermit here. It might be something else. Like maybe maybe that man is Hermit. Who knows? Oh wow. The classic Lucy pose. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, nothing. Okay. North. Where is Wise? Oh. What? What? God. Chosen player. Ah. Huh. <clears throat> oh. Oh, now they're vulnerable. <laughs> what the hell, Homura? Hmm. Oh no. Yeah, you got what you wanted. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow! Okay, let's see how much... What the? I thought it was a random monster! <laughs> ah! Okay. He's talking like a samurai. Oh! <laughs> oh no, he's sad now.
Hmm. Yeah. Jamilov, mass murderer. No, Nick. Hmm. Maybe he's like a game master or something. Maybe like one of the upper people. <laughs> the even bots also ran away. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. I thought maybe she changed her name in, in the game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh my god! Guessing one of the NPCs? Yeah, oh no. Oh! Oh! Oh great. Another lunatic, <laughs> lunatic has come. Damn, his after is really What? What the? Uh, these are all NPCs. Oh no! Are they real people? I thought they were NPCs. Oh my god. Chosen player Dragon Oh this guy okay Oh great Wait, is this Hermit? Yeah. Okay, damn. Alright, new ending. <clears throat> I think I've heard this voice before, the person who's singing the song. Oh! 
what is that shiki oh my god that's homura isn't it <laughs> Is this Sayuri, the person who's singing? Oh. Okay, that's the end. <clears throat> All right, um, just a sec. Mm, yeah, Sayuri. I, I, I'm, I, I was quite sure I, I've heard that voice before. Uh, Eden's, uh, the ending song is sung by Sayuri. All right. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so. Okay. So this episode, uh, we we went into a completely like you know new direction, which I really was not expecting. But uh, I should have seen this coming because of the whole science fiction setting you know like this was bound to happen like some kind of a place where you actually get into a video game and do stuff and i quite enjoy these type of things like you know this type of small little like it's like a little um side activity even though it's kind of like one of the main missions they have like you know uh they go inside and save uh hermit so yeah but it, 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 like you know it, it looks like it's like a fun little activity but it's actually not like they are like in for some serious business like in the beginning they were kind of like you know joking around like oh my god look at my avatar <laughs> like you know wife was like oh my god look at this like i'm a girl and chiki was like look at this i'm so strong <laughs> like all those like you know little jokes are happening in the beginning but like slowly slowly it becomes serious especially in the end after like you know the whole thing that happened with uh uh, the guy uh, i can't remember his name the mass murderer or whatever his name is so yeah okay so uh <clears throat> so the thing here is so that means hermit went in like you know has closed her heart heart off because of something that must have happened like some kind of i don't know something some kind not like i doubt it's something very like she she's supposed to be strong so I doubt it's something that like you know is traumatic or something I, I doubt it's something like that I think it's something that's probably kind of hurt her uh, like you know emotionally that's why she kind of shut herself down inside the digital world and like especially in the end when she says that like Ziggy you said that machines have heart but <clears throat> humans don't <clears throat> that shows that it, it was no like you know nothing like traumatic or something like that it, it's basically it must be something which is emotionally draining her or which emotionally affected her so i'm sure we'll get more answers in the future but yeah okay so uh <clears throat> firstly they like, get into this game here and now like it's interesting to see the whole thing where they like you know explain that the npcs actually uh, like just a sec they became self-aware and they okay after they were abandoned the npcs rewrote the programming the society continues to thrive as if they were real living people like <laughs> like thinking about it thinking about it is really kind of uh like you know uh, like it's it's really weird like imagine like you make a game which has some kind of like you know fast learning ai within it like 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 now as technology is advancing who knows maybe something like this will happen in the future like imagine making a game where there are certain ais which has this kind of like an uh, artificial intelligence that learns and grows as time goes on and as slowly like people play the game like you know one year two year five year ten years they become self-aware and like they become too self-aware and like the people who actually made the game freak out and they say that okay let's shut this game down like you know like this game is going to be stopped all servers are, will going to like you know stop everything and that's the end of the game but 
what happens after that is the the, the NPCs themselves rewrite the programming and start and make a little like you know place for themselves where they thrive around live their own life like you know like a small little digital world and like damn that's <laughs> like like that's really something very unusual and weird like like it's kind of like impossible in a way not, like thinking about it now but i'm sure it will be possible someday someday in the future a lot, a lot, two three hundred years later who knows and uh, <clears throat> like <laughs> like this is uh, like like it's so weird to think about it actually so basically like they basically made a little world for themselves and they're living in it and the act the players who were actually interested in it they log in and also like you know uh interact with them and like not do their own thing kind of like hang out with them and all so it's it's like a little like in you know, a vacation place where like if you are like you know tired of your life in the you know outside world you will just log in into the game you have friends inside the game who are uh, like you know self aware aware npcs with like you know um high tech artificial intelligence they're just like your friends and you have your fun like you know you uh, play around with them you uh like you know go into go with uh, going different quests with them or like you know like have a drink with them anything like that and then like when you are kind of like you know like happy about everything you come back to the outside world again like damn that's like a <laughs> uh, really um interesting thing to think about and surely like in the future we're surely going to see a day like that and obviously not in our lifetime maybe two or three generations later <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> so like here's so so the thing here is like people in this game they can as they said like they can actually disguise themselves as npcs or the npcs can disguise themselves as real people so you can't you, you like in this world you won't be able to differentiate between anyone like everyone is like the same so uh yeah and uh, okay and then like you know they get get the like their avatars and we have a little cameo again of ichia from fairy tale <laughs> and uh it was interesting to see how what if every character like you know uh chose for as as their online avatar like rebecca and happy were the same uh, rebecca only changed her uh, like you know dress a little bit and homer is completely different <laughs> like uh, who does she remind me of her online avatar um she reminds me of midnight isn't it from fairy tale yeah she looks a lot like midnight so <clears throat> like you know like homer takes an online avatar like this <laughs> and she has a weird little like you know right and obviously like as expected of Weiss, he <laughs> he chose a female avatar <laughs> as expected of him and uh, <clears throat> like pino like okay so the when the opening came out I, I saw like we saw the little reflection in the opening where pino was looking at the reflection and in the reflection there was this girl there now you know what i thought i thought maybe it will be something like that happened to carla in fairy tale you know like how she she was obviously she was an exceed uh, and later on she gets an actual body through magic and you know a body of a normal human girl so i thought maybe something like that was going to happen maybe she's going to get some kind of an upgrade to her like you know android self and she's going to get a uh, like you know some kind of artificial body or something i'm not sure i thought it would be something like that but uh Sadly, I guess it's not like something like that. It's just like an online avatar here. So, anyways, and um, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, obviously Shiki's avatar is <laughs> at, at the beginning it was really weird. He was like this huge person with huge muscles, and then I, I think he he kind of went and changed, uh, like you know uh, his uh, settings and stuff. Or uh, who knows but he he looks like a who does he remind me of he reminds me of someone like you know this kind of long hair with that type of a dress 
I I can't I don't know. She she does remind me of some. I think she reminds me of Jura a little bit. Was that what his name was from Fairy Tale Jura? Uh, just a sec. I think that was his name, wasn't it? It's been a while. Like I forgot their name. No no not Jura. Uh, the other other person. Uh, what was his name? The guy who fought f f with Jura, who had the, the like. Uh, the dragon slayer, not dragon slayer magic, like so, I forgot. Uh, what was his name? Um, I can't remember. <coughs> the one who was in with Sting and Rogue in their guild, the guy with the uh, the tattoos. You know, I, I'm I'm trying to like I can't remember his name at all. Just a sec. Okay, um... <coughs> was it? Orga. Yeah. Orga, Orga. That was his name. So, yeah. Like, he reminds me, kind, kind of reminds me of Orga a little bit. Like, you know, especially his long hair and all. But anyways. And... Uh, yeah, and then they get to the, 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 the town, the place where they're staying and they like inquire about hermit now at that at this moment i thought maybe like you know maybe hermit changed like who knows like just like uh yeah uh wives and um homura did like you know they changed their gender like avatar's gender completely and like you know took a different name i think i'm not sure but I thought maybe, like, you know, maybe he did something like, she did something like that or something. And who knows? Like, this is like an online platform. You can be anything. So I was, I was kind of expecting something like that. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe they wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to find her so quickly. Because, like, maybe she took some different name. Maybe she's a completely different gender here. Like, like, anything can be possible here. But turns out, like, like that's not the problem here. Because in the end, we get to see her. She's, she's completely, like her like you know uh, real life uh, appearance she has uh, it's the same appearance and yeah, that won't be a problem they'll be able to recognize her quite easily so that's not a problem here but yeah and then like this this person comes up in like the uh, i can't remember his name the <laughs> the guy with the scythe the <clears throat> excuse me mass murder or whatever now <clears throat> Okay, uh, the first thing is like he, he, he has some kind of special abilities and because like killing NPCs doesn't ban like you know make him banned. So either he is someone who is <coughs> you know who is at a pretty high, pos uh, pretty high position in the outer world as maybe the game master maybe the game master's acquaintance or something you know. So that's why they're not he's not getting banned or maybe he knows hacking or something he can hack stuff like that's why like you know like the the you know the signal that like an npc is getting killed by an outer player that's not happening like maybe because he's hacking or something like either of that most probably and then we get to know that uh, someone is actually trying to uh, like you know blend in some data within uh, like you know, with within like the eden zero uh, as which said mm. Because Hermit was the main person who had these kind of things, like, you know, digital security was, uh, who's very good at digital security, because he's not here, they are at a problem. <clears throat> yeah, and then we meet this raid boss or whatever. <laughs> the raid boss got so scared that <laughs> he ran away from, <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Like, imagine the raid boss getting scared so much that he runs away <laughs> in the middle of a fight. He was like, nope, I'm out. Like, you know, so many people are trying to kill me, I'm out. Like, like if, funny thing, like, if, if AIs really become self-aware, like, you know, like, <laughs> it'll be funny, like, really, like, for example, just, like, see this raid boss. Like, like, for example, when he's losing or something, he'll just run, run away and, like, <laughs> and, yeah, and, uh, you know what? Like, I'm thinking about it now, like, AI becoming self-aware, especially in the video game world, is uh is 
it's fascinating obviously but at the same time it's kind of scary when you think about that the people you're like you know the monsters that you're killing the 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 characters that you're killing in game they also have self-awareness like <clears throat> for example we play video games here like uh we sympathize with some characters we like you know defeat some enemies like <clears throat> we all do all of these things like these are pretty normal for us but we have the basic like you know knowledge that yeah all of these things that are happening they are all artificial like you know they they don't have any self-awareness they're not like you know they have they don't have any will but still we do that like you know we get attached to characters and all that stuff <clears throat> and while like you know defeating enemies all like different type of stuff happens so imagine if those ais become self-aware so like the characters that you're going to interact with will obviously have self-awareness and you're going to get more attached to the characters and all that stuff like that's going to happen obviously but at the same time the opposite is going to happen that is the characters that you're going to defeat or kill they also have self-awareness so it's like thinking about it, it is kind of scary in a way because like it will be like you're actually killing people in game that'll be really scary like you know like because the characters that you're killing they have self-awareness they have will they are actually like someone who knows what's happening to them oh my god now that i think about it yeah i think <laughs> like it's it's a pretty like the whole thing with ai is becoming self-aware is in a pretty gray zone like many amazing things are going to happen like if that really comes true but at the same time a lot of like like different like you know uh, like bad things might also happen like these type of stuff like for example killing characters in game that'll be, be that'll become really scary and really uh, i don't know like like immoral but anyways uh i kind of went on a different thing so yeah and uh this guy like you know the the the, the guy who who is somehow like you know affiliated with the <clears throat> dragon zo i think that was his name yeah uh like this guy he says that kind of like a psychopath obviously and he says that yeah i like killing people blah 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 uh and all that stuff i do this i do that it's kind of bragging and like a real lunatic just like you know psychopathic characters do and yeah he <sighs> i'm not sure how strong he is but definitely like she is going to you know beat him up so yeah and then in the end we see hermit again for a little bit and she says that like you know maybe machines have heart but humans clearly don't have that and that's probably why there is the reason why she's like you know she has shot himself inside the game and doesn't want to get out uh, maybe something happened like who knows some kind of experience and uh, yeah so that was it uh that was it and okay so the openings and the endings a lot of things happened here and uh like, you know in the opening uh, i'll probably check the opening out at a later time again a lot of new characters we saw and you know a lot of new developments i'm i can see that's going to happen <clears throat> also the ending we saw a few things which kind of caught my attention the first thing is um just a sec uh the picture where like, you know ziggy hermit valkyrie witch and sister are holding a baby now most probably that is shiki i'm not sure but that like it has a high chance of like you know like, like there's a high chance of that happening like that's shiki so yeah, and then we also saw little Homura with Valkyrie. Huh? And in the end, we see Xiaomi kind of sitting on her throne. <laughs> interesting. Like, Xiaomi is another interesting character. Like, I don't know what actually... You know, she, she, she herself said she, she's the narrator. She narrates stuff and kind of spoils, you know, stuff a little bit as well. And just like in this episode, she kind of hinted that, okay, like things will be kind of like, you know, uh, sadistic in this episode 
it won't be good so we better be ready like these type of like you know small little foreshadowing she does <laughs> interesting <laughs> okay and who knows maybe like you know like i'm wondering maybe if she'll have some kind of bigger role in the future like like now she, she's kind of like acting like a narrator like who knows maybe she'll get included in the show later on like i won't be surprised at that and i think that'll be kind of cool in, in a way you know because suddenly the narrator becomes a part of the <laughs> part of the crew and like you know starts fourth wall breaking uh, every now and then that would be kind of funny but yeah anyways so yeah guys that was it that was my uh, reaction to episode number 13 of um, Eden Zero so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know I'll check them out so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.